Everything changes. Except you, my love. I don't see you as anything but. And yet, those who we sacrifice, those who would condemn my actions for you just because you need them as sustenance, it doesn't mean you're wrong. It doesn't make us wrong. In fact, it's quite the opposite. I see us as true. And those of this broken, dying society as nothing more than pawns at this point. I understand a need for them. And friendships forged do not easily break. But how am I supposed to confront them, to confide in them what we've done? They may have just been those lowly, end of the road kind, elderly and sick. But you still ate them. My little monster, you're so perfect. I could never hate you for it. I could never judge you. And on my name, as Shoto Todoroki, I swear I will never, not in a million years, will I ever abandon you. It's strange, isn't it? How even now, and what could be our darkest hour, when everyone's seen what's happened because of us? Are you sure you don't consider me to be a villain, what I've propagated for you, how far I've gone? I think I'm just lost right now. And yet, I don't care as long as you, as long as you stay healthy. Your appetite, your condition, we just need to sustain you until we can figure it out together. You're yourself most of the time, but when you're not, they fear you. They might even dis... dislike you. In which case, you know where I stand. I guess I'm more of a renegade now. We both are. They want us to help them. To put an end to the corruption that led you away down this path. That led all of hero society to be under that man. The one. The one who's responsible that nameless entity. I only know so much, but what I do know is they, they are responsible for your poison. And to that extent, they must pay. No, it's not revenge. It's to prevent, maybe change things from repeating, I can't stand those who would do harm, harm to anyone, let alone my love, my partner in life. How could I call myself your loving husband and not dish out the justice that you deserve? Now you have to consume Pounds of flesh. You have to harm when I know it's not what you want. And I know it's not what we need. But it's still the only way I can solve this burning ever since I've worked and met with Tomura. Things have changed, not only because of your sickness, 
but because his help, it did help. But it wasn't perfect, and worse yet, in hindsight, I discovered someone else. Someone else who could help us in a more perfect way, but now it's too dangerous. The serum you took, it altered you on a genetic level. You're no longer... No, I won't say it. Because you are to me, no matter what they see you as. You're beautiful, and you are my... my everything. If it makes me mad to put everything into you, then I don't mind that. If it makes me the enemy of the world, then they can try and stop me. But for now, the enemy of my enemy is my ally. I just wonder for how long how long will they, will they be unknowing about what I've done, what I've, no, no, none of this, none of this at all is your fault. I made the choices and you never asked for this, please. Don't choose this. We'll find a way it's just for a little longer. I I made sure those sacrifices. Why must it be so hard? I know you don't want to live based on the price that it costs someone else their life, no matter how how few years they may have had. I understand you don't like it. I understand it's not what either of us wanted. But please don't leave me alone. After everything, don't you think we can make it work? Don't you think we can do something about it? That we can, we can make a change happen. That it won't last forever. There must be something. Something that can be done here. Something we haven't thought of yet. Quiet. I'll, I'll handle whatever it is. Don't worry. I've got you. I won't let anyone take you away. No matter what the cost. Perhaps you wouldn't mind if I let myself in. You. No. What are you doing here? I should kill you. I should kill you right now. No, but that would be quite to the contrary of what you want to accomplish. Haven't you realized it yet? I may have caused it, but you're desperate. You're so delightfully desperate. You turned anything, you turn on anyone, like a rabid animal. It's perfect. It's not exactly what I had planned, but you foiled my original plan. It is a shame you had to be on the run. You know, if you had stuck with your little friends, maybe, just maybe, you'd still be out of my grasp. Well, let's get formalities out of the way, shall we? The names? Epidemic. My calling card's kind of what 
you had lingering with that sweet love of yours. It was my gift to you at your wedding, and... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, you wouldn't want to kill me now, would you? Of course I do. What possible reason would I want you to get near me or my loved one? Well, considering those little corpses dusting your hallway, I think you have bigger fish to fry. What would the heroes think if I didn't help you? <laughs> you see, you're at my mercy. Kill me or not, you're still going to have to watch them die. Say another word, and you die. Do you understand? Oh, but I'm afraid you're wrong at that. You wouldn't kill me because I've got a little secret. Something you've been dying to know. Oh, it's a secret. One that you'll really, really be itching to find out. Don't you want a cure? Something to make them feel all chippy inside, and not one that risks their life. I might just be able to assist you. And why would I trust the person I've been hunting down for vengeance? Well, I was trying to be cordial with you, but if you're going to be at my throat like you are with that little icicle, well... There might be consequences, and the price might get steeper. Let's just say my quirk has a way of working both ways. It doesn't just make people sick. That's where people get silly with it. It's nothing quite so bland. I control your health. Anyone I'm around, and I know what's making your little, well, your spouse over there very sick when they don't eat humans, animals. Oh, it's a doozy, isn't it? And just what can you do to help? No oh, interested, are we? <laughs> well, wake up and smell the ashes, I guess. You know, it's a boring world we live in with all these nonsensical people that just keep getting this predetermined idea of what a hero or a villain is. Now, I'm neither. I'm a businessman, and a very good one at that. People like their health, and I offer them Good health for the low, low price of loyalty and swearing. They'll serve me, you know, it's not that hard, and I don't ask for much. But, it's a question. How much are you willing to suffer? How much are you willing to do for that sweet loved one of yours? You know, I... I've been stabbed in the back. More times than I can count. Almost took my life once. All that nonsense of always wanting to be the good guy. The upstanding businessman. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's all nonsense that they feed you. An innocent world of honesty. That pitch that All Might always had for me... And all those predecessors and forecomers, they're just so shallow. There's no business in it. There's no gain. There's no profit. I didn't used to care about that. But the world opened my eyes to what really matters. Progress. The world can't be trusted, Shoto Todoroki. And that blank look on your face just spits it all out in a bloody little 
package of how you really feel. You agree, even if your gritting teeth wouldn't have you admit it because I was the enemy you were putting all those nasty feelings into. But who was it that really helped you? Was it the jerk, washed up scientist who fed you experimental drugs that led you into this situation? No, 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 it was your, your friends who, if they knew what was happening now, would judge you unlike me, who deserves all the praise. That wouldn't judge you a bit. You can look at things as two sides of the same coin. On one hand, you're a monster, saving your loved one at the cost of innocence, a former hero gone rogue. On the other hand, you're a loving husband, just taking care of his love because of a botched formula of someone who doesn't know how to stop with mad sciencing everything. Yes, yes, I'm well aware it's not really a word. But that's not the point. That's not the point at all. None of it actually matters the way you think it does. It's more like a giant facade trying to distract you from the point that you have your priorities. And your priorities are just as valid as theirs. No hero or villain is less important than the others. No. You're perfectly righteous. The world is as righteous as you make it. And I intend it to be properly governed. That way people stop killing and stabbing in the back of those who have the most money. Those who have the most power. Call it what you will. I put my petty differences aside. It's a singular goal, because the world can't take care of itself. So it's my job to take care of it myself. Don't you see the bigger picture? You don't have to see it, really. Well, you just have to decide. Are you going to be my pretty little lapdog, Shoto Todoroki? In exchange for me, Curing what ails that beloved of yours? I'm sure it's an easy choice. What do you mean? You're saying you can cure them? Well, that's exactly it. I can do more than anyone else, really. I mean, the others can try, and that overhaul guy is pretty good at what he does. Kai Chusaki was it? But even he has his limitations, doesn't he? If he makes a mistake, he blows up everything. Then all you have is a mist of red. I'm much less invasive and quite less costly in the worst case. You see, there's an ironic misunderstanding of society and especially those who hate me. They think I'm the cancer of the organ of this world. <laughs> no, I'm the anybody trying to cure all that which has screwed up the rest of it. You see, it's not that easy. It's never that cut and dry. It's never so black and white. No. You need a just leader. Someone who can tell you what's real and what's fake, what's right and what's wrong. I know what it means to be in your position. I've loved and I've lost. And I can save you from what ails you do. Then, then cure them. If you do, then... I'll do whatever it takes. <laughs> come now, come now. You needn't get so serious about it. I came here alone because I trusted you wouldn't kill me. I trusted you were a man of reason 
And of course, that means I can't just let you go empty-handed. I intended to cure them as soon as I can. Now, if you'd like that, you're going to have to trust me. You sound like a plan. <laughs> I'm sure you can agree to it. Because, after all, you've gotten a bunch of people promising this or swearing that. Friends forever, right? Why don't you show them the corpses and see how everything pans out? But that's beating around the bush with this. No, follow me. Never mind. No, we'll do it right here. I wouldn't want you to think I'm all talk, leading you into a trap or something. No, before that, I just need this one thing from you. It's nothing really, just a pet peeve of mine. I need you to denounce those which you consider your friends right now. Well, the fake ones who wouldn't stand by you. No, no, no. I just want to hear it. You don't even have to mean it. It's whatever. Just a pet peeve of mine. I... I only care about my love. I want to be a good husband, a good man, a good person. But that all comes second to their survival. I denounce this world if it means saving them. <laughs> That was so satisfying. You've got yourself away with words, don't you? Now watch. If you'll excuse me. You just relax. It won't hurt. Things will change. And things will happen. You'll be able to be yourself soon enough another human. For as long as you stay near, you'll need to. Until the process is done, of course, but then who knows what will happen. I don't charge so much interest. It's more about the loyalty. Money is cheap. As much as people like to have you believe it's not. Everyone wants to tell you how money is king, how status and power are everything, but it's not true. It's not true at all. No, 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 no. Now we can see. Oh, dear. What did they do to you? There isn't a single cell in your body that's human. They made you into something of a... Hmm. This is fascinating. Yes, yes. Now, I'm going to just suggest something to you. Now, I can cure them if you really, really want. That's going to be a long and arduous process that perhaps even they might not be able to survive. Or I can suggest something else that might be interesting. We take you both to go and see All Might. Well, that's what people like to call him, though he's nothing like he used to be. Trust me, I used to know him. Now, if you'd like to, I can show you what it means to evolve like this. I could leave it be or just take a sample, but... Your choices you can remain in my special care, my VIP that I call upon only in my direst hour. And then, <laughs> and then, for the rest of the time, you live like a king and a king and and consort, or is it king and whatever it is? It doesn't matter. That's not the important part. No, 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 no. The way I see it, it's not the eating. That's the problem. What if you eat people who are medically deceased? 
But if you help them, you could stay that way, or... That wasn't what we agreed on. No, 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 no. It's just a suggestion, you know. Just something to consider while you... While you are waiting for progress to be made. Now, right this way, you do. I need to show you what it's like at the highest pinnacle of the paradigms of this. Oh, so tipsy-turvy world. i got so much to share. It's my hope you'll be my protege. See things as a word of balance rather than want, lacking, scum, blessed and otherwise. You see, it's never quite like that. The world is all messed up and we need to fix it. And maybe, like your quirk, you'll see a balance in all things. Hating on your father wasn't really a good idea, no. But it's all okay. It's all natural. Natural selection as well. And I think we can use your little lover here as a prime candidate for the next step. You see, part of it is ingenious. Part of it is beautiful. Even if it's inconvenient, we can find a way to make it work. <laughs> oh, don't get too worried. I can see it all over your face. You're not the most talkative one, but then again, you never really were. I've been watching you. Tried to get you with the original. Join me or get sick. But, as you can see, it backfired into affecting them, but what can I say? Uh, the world needs a little push in the right direction. It needs, it needs a little shove sometimes, and you were going to be that messenger back then. And now you can be so much more. So be it as it may. You have yourself a choice. You could go with your former friends, or are they still really trustworthy, I wonder. You can all struggle and see if they accept you, maybe to Merlewood. Oh, <laughs> maybe. I think you would, actually. What about the rest of them? Would they really be okay with you? Or would they give you those two-sided looks that are so common in business? There's no love in finances, and there's no teamwork in a goal that they don't leave you see. No one's going to take you seriously, Shoto. They're going to see you as a monster, because to them, what you've been doing is more off the deep end than... Well, then even me. I need a moment. My love, what is it you want me to do? You can't just tell me that. But, but still, you have to understand. I've, I've done everything, everything to bring us to this point. Should I continue, continue this? But what if, what if he could cure you and you can't? You can't just leave me all alone, can you? Wouldn't that be too sad? You know I can't replace you. 
So why do you toss yourself in the secondary? Why do you look at me with those eyes? Why can't you see everything? It's all been for you. It's all been... Won't you thank me once it's all over? Even if I'm not a hero, it doesn't mean I'm a villain. Does it? Have I really gone too far? Do you still love me? Then... What do we do? I trust you. And I love you. But how can you expect me to just... Let you go? We're married, aren't we? It's my duty as your husband. What do you mean it's beyond my duty? You are... everything. How can you say it's beyond? There's no such thing. You can't. I... I'll... I... Selfish. It's not for my benefit, but... Maybe it is to a certain extent. I don't want to see a world without you. And part of me would rather see this one burn if it meant... I know that's not what you want. It's not what I want either. Must I make this choice? Must I force you to care about your own well-being? What about those we sacrificed? Are their lives worth more than yours? I don't think so. I can't see them as human. Just a means to an end. Does that make me frightening? But you want to live, don't you? But we could cure you. And perhaps epidemic is not the worst. Why? Why must you make it so hard? After everything I sacrificed, can you really say that I've done wrong? It's all been for our greater good. Those in our way, they should have never tried to stop us. Innocent. Innocent is all about perspective, isn't it? Perhaps I've lost it myself, but... Tell me, will you try this one last time to see a future regardless of the past? My mistakes, my sins, are my own to bear. You don't need to bear it even if they were for you. It's not your fault. It's his fault. But he's offering to help. I don't want to trust him. But at this point, can you say there's a better option? Can you say there's any other end? Or are you going to ask me to do the unthinkable? Why? How can you ask me? 
How can you ask me to... I know you feel horrible about what's happened, but... Very well. And you leave me no choice, my love. I must do what's best for both of us. Oh, the classic knockout. Quite a harsh verdict, isn't it? You taking them as such. There's no other choice. Should I watch them die? No, certainly not. That would be a travesty to all you've worked to do. You're not prepared to give up on your cause, your crusade. And I need that kind of vigilance, that dedication. You're not tied to anything but them. Not at this point, no, no, no. That's what makes you special to me. That's what makes you perfect for the job. Come along now. Come along. We've got a place to go and people to see and a cure to have. Oh. Wait, that's right. I should cure them a bit right here if I him to get you to believe me. A man doesn't go back on his word unless he's scum. So let's see what we can do. No, no. This is most troubling. What is it? Well, they seem to have a strange, almost alien physiology about them, but it's intriguing. Unfortunately, I think you'll have to take my word for it. I can only ease their ailments from here. I'll need much time and effort, in which case I'll need you to do just a bit to earn your keep. What kind of work? I knew you'd pick up on things quite quickly, but it's always pleasant to see that face. Well, pardon the circumstance, it's my condolences that it happened. I don't want to hurt people, but sometimes good people have to suffer in order to save the people we care about most. In order to change this wretched world into something we can have, Enjoy and savor where those don't stab us in the back. There needs to be sacrifices. There needs to be things done. And I'm here to do it for you. Just leave it to me. <laughs> See, things so complicated. Things so meticulous. It wouldn't happen if the world wasn't at each other's throats. If the world was just a better place. Oh, I've got an interesting proposition, though. Recently, I've been delving into something akin to a re-education of sorts. Would you like me to purge their memory of this past month or so of the sickness itself. Do you want them to forget about it? The pleasantries of today outweighing the dispute of yesterday. That would be dishonest, though. I... I shouldn't. Oh, <laughs> pardon my suggestion, really. It was just in case you couldn't handle. Well, it seemed, pardon my eavesdropping, as them being a little cross with you. 
in terms of going so far for them. Quite unjust, if you ask me. No one, no one would go further than a dedicated husband. And yet they seem to hold on to pretentious righteousness. But I... You don't understand a thing. And all of this is your fault. I'm not going to beat around the bush and act like you're my friend. We are enemies with the same cause. I will work, and you will cure. The moment you stop, or the moment something happens to them, then I'm afraid, even if it costs me everything, you will die. Oh, point taken. I would rather like to avoid dying, if you ask me. It's quite overrated. And more than that, I... I have a lot yet to accomplish before the world's a utopia that it deserves to be, that we want it to be. You want to save lives, don't you? And the first step is compromise. I compromise, and you do too. You don't kill me and take out that misbegotten revenge, and I cure them and alleviate them of the stress of this month, and by the end of it, it's as simple as paying a debt, and you're free to live your merry life. And what kind of debt? Oh, I'm not steep. I'm quite reasonable once you get to know me. Debt is as simple as friendship. Once you get to know me, I'm sure you'll agree. <laughs> So many like to consider me the bad guy. But in the end, am I really? Is it wrong to bend those who are corrupt, putrid, festering souls into your bidding? Repurpose them into something better? Is that so wrong? Use the filth of the world into a better, more purposeful life. I see my work as akin to missionary. I'm showing them the light of their misfortune in order to bring them to their, well, happiness. <laughs> Not to laugh in the presence of somebody going through a tough time, but we'll fix that right up, won't we? Don't you want to put a band-aid over the... Gunshot wounds of life. No, 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 no. You want more than that, don't you? Don't you want your love back from before? Everything was cascaded into this ugly situation. I... I don't know. But I must face my demons for what they are, my own insecurities, and things that I, I made happen as well. You may have delivered the virus, but I, I couldn't face the fact that I was dragging, dragging them along. And I'm not sure how to face them. Once they're back to normal. I... Oh, don't think about it too much. There's no need. We'll solve this together. Doesn't that sound more heartwarming when you know there's meaning behind it? I own the city. Almost everything around is mine to do with as I please, but I'm an honest and good man. Not just one who takes.
takes advantage of strong arms, no. That's not my style. I want a world where people trust and believe in the good old things. Things like family. Things like love mean something. Things like friendship. Oh, do you want to hear his little story? You know, I wasn't always this magnanimous, world-changing man that I am today. <laughs> no, no, no. I started as a simple businessman who saw the world through rose-tinted glasses. I saw the world next to my best friend, us two, who had a worthless quirk on my end and someone who... Oh, he thought he had no quirk at all and how wrong he was. You know, the saying, power crops. <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. When you never see it coming, you never in a million years think that you're capable of being that person who gives in to that bigger thing. And no, no, no. You just see it as you're doing what the next big step is now. I avoided it for most of my life and it wasn't until I got quite literally stabbed in the back. For a good purpose, mind you, but not a good enough purpose. It was good, but I could have tried harder. It opened my eyes. You can't just trust the world to make the right choice. You have to make sure they do. You have to be the god that died. <laughs> the god that everyone believed in at one point that science took away. You see, I hate religion, I really do. The insecurities of it, the fact that God doesn't have a voice. No, no, no. That's not what I want. It's not what anyone wants. It's what they think they want that's important. I am to them, to this world, the cure. The name epidemic is ironic. But my truth spreads like the Black Plague through the hearts and minds of those who see me as what I am. More than a visionary, I am as much the god of this world as people make me. But I see myself as a humble man with a humble truth that these painful memories all fueled my Future. Our. Future. Nothing of this matters to me. I just want them back, or if nothing else, some way of convincing them that everything I've done, it's been for them. Even when someone you love doesn't ask for it, is it wrong to want them to have it anyways? Part of me feels that guilt, and part of me knows it's too late, too late to go back. Oh, <laughs> what is a muse? A muse is everything to the heart. Believe it or not, I was... Once, not so different than you, but after a while, after so many things, I just, I lost it. I guess the world is my muse now. The world is who I'm married to. It's what I care about. Everyone makes me so itchy when things go wrong. But I'm patient. I'm a very patient man. I'm so grateful for you people like you, you're 
perpetuate one of the most important things in all of existence, love. You have given so, so much. And yet, it's only the beginning of it. What does it really mean? All of that love you have for them, is it real? Is it fake? Is it selfishness? Is it selflessness? You won't know until you see how deep the rabbit hole goes. You see, life is a way of never going the way you plan it. You have to keep trying and trying, and failure is just the predecessor of success. You end up making all of these mistakes that almost kill you, you know, they almost make a mess of your insides, whatever they do. Then you realize you can do anything you want. Then you realize, by the end of the day, nothing really matters except for what matters to you. You realize that selfishness and selflessness, they go hand in hand. One can be misconstrued as the other, and the other may just be the other in disguise. It goes back and forth, and everything means the same thing at the end of the day, so you just have to decide yourself. What does it all mean to you? What do they mean to you? But that's so simple. They mean everything. Oh, that's hard to believe, though, because if they meant everything to you, that would make you selfish. And all this supposed selflessness, wouldn't that just be selfishness in disguise? Oh, but that's not it. No, 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 it's never that simple. Everything has its price, everything has its purpose. And believe it or not, you have desire. Not for them, silly. You have a desire for the concept of them. You don't want to be alone, and I can see through you. That's why I think my proposition is going to be one you can't say no to. You think I would throw them away? No, no, no! You really have misjudged me, then. Let's talk as we walk. You. Don't worry. I'll send some people to carry unless... No. I will carry them. I am their husband. And I won't have others doing such things. Clearly you don't trust me and maybe it's right for you to. I don't trust me sometimes either. And more importantly, you have so much on your plate already. Why add to it? But the way I see it is sometimes evil and good, positive and negative, it's all just perspective of you in the moment. And I'm trying to offer you a beautiful little shortcut. What they don't know won't hurt them. So you're proposing I just erase all this, brush it under the table, and get back to the person from my wedding day. Is that really possible? No, oh, your eyes are so honest when you're so, so desperate. Not that I'm poking fun, mind you. But no, of course, I can do it. It may take some time, maybe a little trial and error. But my methods are impeccable. You see, DNA has a funny way of being very easy for me to manipulate. All I need is a drop of blood, and we can have you an infinite number of them if you want. We can try this a million times. As long as the host remains, you can have your loved one any way you want. What would a good husband do? 
I wonder, do you even care about that? Oh, and don't go worrying yourself over such puny little details such as the soul. It's been disproven years ago. People just don't want to face the facts. I offer you something far more important. And I suppose I am asking you to sell me your soul. But only in the figurative sense. Isn't friendship also the sharing of the soul? All I'm asking you is to be my friend. Well... My protege would be a more accurate depiction to run this world after I've run my course. The virus lasts until the host is gone, and my virus will spread until everyone is cured. You see, there's been people who want to do what I want to do, who want to do things so much. But why don't I offer it? you a proof of concept? Oh, I've taken the liberty of bringing this. You see, my, my quirk, it's so versatile, but so hard to control with a lot of effort. And a little bit of luck, we can recreate them, cell by cell together. <laughs> Isn't it magnificent science and quirks working together? We can do anything. I wouldn't be the god of this world, or I should say the future one, if I couldn't do just about anything. <laughs> My old friend was an imbecile. He thought I was the cancerous tumor of the world, sucking away at life, draining it at its core. But no, no, no! Such a pathetic, short-sighted <laughs> approach. He veered me so much that he created his little league of subordinates. He tried to wage war against me and the heroes on a two-faced front. But anyone who knows war knows that never works. Especially not when whoever he sends at me better be a gnome who specifically designed not to have any intricate organs or... Oh, didn't you know? No moons themselves were created as a countermeasure to my quirk. He got sick of sending people over and seeing them turn to my side. Oh, you're probably thinking, it's Shigaraki, aren't you? No, no. Shigaraki is merely... Well, he's a failed attempt at a protege. I intend to make you far more superior than his derogatory, nonsensical approach. He's lost his way. And unfortunately, the future doesn't have room for those who try and stop us. Now, as proof, we're here. Kindly place them right there. <laughs> What's going to happen? Oh, nothing. It's merely a collection of sorts. This lovely little thing will be preserved, and I will create a time stamp of them, so to speak. This is the control, and the newest one will appear over there. Now I need some concentration, so go sit down. Don't be too surprised if you see a healthy one looking for you. Remember, I'm just the doctor making sure everything functions. What makes you think 
I'd be okay with this. You're just going to clone them, aren't, aren't you? That's... Oh, no, no, no. It's nothing of the sort. I wouldn't dream of cloning someone, or a human, or even a sheep. I'm doing far more than that. I'm copying them on a molecular level, just purging the non-human elements. Separating them from their imperfections. It may take just a bit, but give me an hour or so and we'll see what I come up with. Will this really save them? <laughs> Saving is just perspective, my dear boy. Saving will be for you to decide. You are the hero, after all. And the hero is the one who decides what's saving and what's condemning. You are the law. I'm just a scientist. I... I suppose I'll go wait. Is this all really what's right? Was everyone right about me? Have I lost myself? What I stand for? Have I? No way. My love, is that you? Is it truly you? I... When, when did we... First meet. What's the last thing you remember? Uh, it, yes. Our wedding. It's, it's soon. Honey. <laughs> it feels like we're already married. I... Oh, sorry. These are happy tears. <laughs> oh, the scientist. Was he kind to you? I'm glad. <laughs> What's gotten into me? Well, of course, it wouldn't be the day before our wedding if we didn't do something special. And I missed you. I missed you so much. Everything, all of the struggle. I just, I just wanted to see you this whole time. <laughs> and to feel you, your heart beating is normal. And you smiling at me feels so surreal. I, <laughs> is it wrong? It just makes me want to love you more. To make sure nothing ever happens again. No, it's nothing. It's nothing at all. Huh. Sorry, I... I just got overwhelmed and... It, the scientist told you to tell me something. What's that? To have a great wedding. <laughs> I think I will. <laughs> I love you. And perhaps it's presumptuous of me. 
But could your husband be a bit selfish today and trouble you for a little more? Your body is as soft as ever. It's almost unbelievable. I... <sighs> My love, do you ever wonder how far is too far for love? I see. That's certainly a special way of looking at it. I don't think it's possible. Personally, I... I just... Nothing is too far. If it means getting you. If it means saving you. <laughs> but I guess you don't always need saving anymore. You certainly don't right now. Hmm. Sorry, it's just I've gotten to thinking. Thinking about the cost of everything and if I'm really worthy of being your husband and of course I know how you feel and I'm honestly honored by that. I just wonder if there are things that make it more difficult to explain. I, I love you. It really is you. What? Don't you have times where you wonder if it's really me inside? I know. Our lives have been wonderful and I want to keep it that way. I would do anything to keep our lives special, to keep us feeling fine, and I'll never give up on you. In fact, I just don't know how to give up on you. Even if you asked me to, I, I could never. <laughs> it's just I, I've always felt the same way about you. You've changed how I view relationships, how I view friendships, how I view life. And for that, I can never, never cease to tell you how much that means to me. You've changed everything for me. And I cannot and will never get tired of, of seeing you happy. You know that, don't you? Besides, I, I have a plan where we might be able to change the world for the better. Baby, I love you so much and I won't let our love die no matter what.